Okay, as you can see, we have now switched our calibrator's output to the channel B. And we are in the DC position on channel B. We are external triggering once again. We are at our um, point 0.1. I'm sorry, that's one millisecond per division on the scale. And we see the somewhat familiar by now um, uh, 10 stair steps down and up again. Starting at zero at the bottom, rising up one, two, three, four, five, six divisions at 0.5 volts per division is three volts, which is what it's supposed to be. Three volts, peak to peak, zero to three. And um, we see that we have linearity, that we, are, we go from zero to three volts in a straight line, and that one and a half is, is exactly halfway between the the other two points, so it has to be a linear position. So we are we are producing a a, a linear uh, faithful representation of the trace. That's what it's trying to tell us. Let's go ahead and change our speed on the sweep and uh, on the calibrator, and we see that we have now. Um, we are now running zero, one and a half, three again. Zero, one and a half, three. This is in the half millisecond per division position. Okay, we are now in the 0.2 millisecond per division. Zero, one and a half, three again. Let's go to 0 0.1. 0 0.1, we go zero, one and a half, three. 50 microseconds per division. Zero, one and a half, three. This is uh, 20 microseconds per division. Zero, one and a half, three. 10 microseconds per division. Zero, one and a half, three. 5 microseconds per division, 0, 1.5, 3. 2 microseconds per division, 0, 1.5, 3. 1 microsecond per division, and we are at the limit of our, our calibrator's capability. But once again, we see uh, that we are zero to the right, one and a half in the middle, and three at the end. So we're still linear. Okay. Uh, so we've once again we've proven that on 0.5 volts uh, um, vertical uh, that we are calibrated through the entire range of the scope. Now theoretically, I, I would need to totally convince you, I would need to do this on every position of the scope. And uh, it isn't possible for me to do this right now, but I think that I've demonstrated enough here to show you that the scope is uh, working very well. And if you watch uh, some of the other video, you'll see that we did test the bandwidth of the scope, and we found that the bandwidth actually exceeded the specifications that were given for the scope when it was made. So uh, thank you for listening, and uh, good luck on the bidding.